all right friends welcome back to another video on testing with laravel and liveware so in this video we'll be writing some additional tests related to list appointment space and we'll be testing the functional entity related to bulk actions so let's get started writing some test so let me open up the terminal and let me go to list appointments test and over here let's write our test and we'll be testing the functionality related to mark as scheduled so we'll be selecting these appointments and we'll be performing the bulk action which is mark as scheduled so let's test this functionality so public function test it can mark selected appointments as scheduled right so if we go to list appointments dot psp and we have this uh, method called mark as scheduled and for marking as scheduled we are using this property called selected rows right and here we are finding the ids that are in selected rows and we are updating the status to scheduled so first of all let me log in as admin and we can simply do this using acting as and then let's create appointments using appointment factory uh, let's create the closed appointments and let's create two appointment and we can store them as two different variables using array destructuring so we can simply do appointment one and then appointment two right now we have two appointments that are closed and now let's use liveware to test uh, list appointments component class so we can simply do liveware and then test and we want to test list appointments class right and first of all we need to set the selected rows attributes right so for that we can simply call the set method and we want to set selected rows as two different ids that will be one and two for appointment two right and finally we'll be calling the method called mark as scheduled right we are calling this method and instead of mark as scheduled i think it is mark all as scheduled so let me paste this and let's import this class as well and the class got imported and finally we need to assert that the status is scheduled right so we can simply call the method call assert equals and the status is appointment status scheduled and it is the same as appointment one let's get the first one and then status let's do the same for appointment 2 as well appointment 2 and then status now let's run this test using psp artisan test and then filter and this is failing and it is saying undefined error key schedule so if we go to list appointments.psp we are setting the status as scheduled strings which is in uppercase so instead of using this let's use constant appointment status schedule which is in lowercase right so let me save this and run the test again and it is passing which is perfect and let's do the same for closed appointment as well so let me copy everything from here and let's test that it can mark selected appointments as closed and we are logged in as admin let's create two different appointments that are scheduled and then instead of calling mark all is scheduled we'll be calling the method called mark all is closed and we have already defined that method in our list appointments dot psv class over here mark all is closed and we are doing the similar thing and over here initial status is scheduled uh, it will be status of closed and let's run this test 
PSP artisan test filter the specific test and it is giving the same issue so let me go to list appointments and instead of this one let's use our constants appointment status is closed and let me run this test again and this is passing which is perfect so now let's write another test to verify that it can delete all selected appointments so let me copy everything from here and let's change this to test it can delete all selected appointments we are logged in as admin and let's create two different appointments let me remove this one we have two appointments and to delete the appointment we have already defined the method called delete selected rows right so we are using the same technique so first of all let me go to list appointment space and set the selected rows as one and two and then we'll be calling the method called delete selected rows right let me go over here and call the method called delete selected rows and then instead of assert calls, let me remove this. We'll be asserting this this assert database missing and the appointments table appointment one and then appointment two. Right now, let me run this test. and this is also passing which is perfect now let's write one final test that it can delete specific appointments instead of all appointments let's test this deletion functionality over here so let me copy this and let's test that it can delete appointment test it can delete appointment and we are logged in as admin and let's create one appointment appointment instead of count let me remove this count and we have one appointment and for deleting a single appointment we need to set appointment id being removed right so if i go to the method called delete appointment we are using that appointment ID being removed as ID, right? So we need to set that ID first. So appointment ID being removed is this appointment ID and we'll be calling the method called delete appointment, right? And we have defined that method over here. And we'll assert that database missing on this table and instead of appointment one and two it is just appointment right so now let me run this test let me remove this one and this is also passing now finally let me run the whole test suite using psp artisan test and everything is passing which is perfect so this much for this video i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one